Well, Roger, tell us a little bit about this picture from 1974, what it's all about and then how you're using it this week to sort of celebrate the uh, match. I think we went through it a, a few weeks ago with the, with the staff and a few of the playing uh, group um, about a concept that was brought up for Indigenous Round and to Doug Nichols Round and um, it was basically don't keep history a mystery and I thought um, just looking back and talking to Dad and uh, a few of my uncles that, that this was fitting so I thought to call him up and uh, get a few of the boys down from the 74 team and um, basically link uh, some of the Freo boys um, into that as well because um, it's important that the guys that played in that team have basically started something that's gone all the way through to today. Roger, I know that I remember there was a team back in Pingley in 1967 that was all Aboriginal. There weren't too many full Aboriginal teams until then. Tell us a little bit about this 1974 team and how it came about. Well, it's selected every year, you know. Uh, we have competitions right throughout all the country towns in the city against one another and at the end of the day, we got this selection group that you know they'll they'll pick what they reckon is the best, and what we might have a family person in there help help us get a game every day. <laughs> Down here. Most of those blokes in that in that side are related, you know, through through family. So and to drive and get up in an aeroplane, you know, that's one of the biggest events we we seem to have back in those days. Not too many Nungas got up and flew around the countryside to play footy back in in the early 70s. So Rog, how important has it been to see your legacy play out oh, those days? It gives you a kick mate, no, no two ways about that, you know, to see your family, or Rog and, and a lot of my cousins and nephews playing the game. And I, really, I don't, I don't care if they're playing for the Dockers or they're playing playing in another side, you know, it's, it's, it's really, it just gives you that little bit of kick to know that somebody from the family is representing us. In the, in the sides throughout Australia anyway. Rog, how important is it to keep rebuilding this culture under this sort of thing? That's uh, it's just bring, bring it to light, basically. Um, I think the AFL's, like, like I said before, has been fantastic um, in uh, you know, helping Indigenous culture and recognising that uh, the, the further we go on, the better it's gonna, gonna get. So, um, so that's like, the plan. Even like getting a little photograph like this and putting names to it, all those little things are all the little It things, helps, yeah, because, Every, everything helps. Because right, otherwise so. if you don't do it now, you might never do it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's, it's been a wonderful week, um, there's still a few days to go and hopefully the boys can go over to the MCG and, and finish the week off for us, so it's going to be exciting to watch.
How important is that as a message for the other non-Indigenous boys to sort of keep building the culture and their understanding of it? I think it's just more the, you know, making sure that we're getting the message out there and boys um, understand how um, or what we've uh, accomplished over, you know, the last few decades and where Aboriginal people have come from and Noongar people have come from um, and basically uh, trying to have them understand what it's like and, um, you know, boys have always asked questions and uh, you know, we're more than happy to give um, them, you know, what, how we grow, grew up and, you know, just stories that um, Dad had told us and Pop and Nan um, and all the little things about growing up out in the bush, just the little things that are always going to help them um, understand the way we grew up and how um, Indigenous culture is. And how did you feel that the boys understood it inside this week and how they embraced it? Um, I, I think uh, once they understand uh, or get to see the story, they'll understand a little bit better, but um, it's just, uh, you know, giving a little insight into um, Indigenous culture and Noongar culture and um, how the AFL has, um, you know, expanded that and uh, made it really big now and, and it's just uh, helping um, Australia in general understand um, the Indigenous culture, so uh, it's been fantastic. And look, uh, Ali, Ali's old grandfather, he, he, he is a big part of a lot of that football back in the day, you know, he, he, was always, he always seemed to be there and he's one of our mentors growing up, me and, me and my brother. And what and was his name? Phil Bennell. Phil Bennell. Yeah, Ali, Ali's. And where was he from? From Brookton. Yeah, Brookton. That's, this is where we come from, Brookton. Yep. We grew up there, me and my brothers. And quite, quite a... And also, in, in they we had a game against um, the Papua New Guinea boys at that time. Same year. Same year. It, it, it was very just after the carnival, there was a they'd come over and my brother, older brother, myself, and and Lyle, we were the three that uh, that represented the WA side in in that competition. And where was that? Where was that, that that was after that yeah, was in where, where was it played in it, Canberra. In well. Canberra, yeah. same time, and uh, in the, on the same ground there. It was, called, it was called Ainsley at that time, wasn't it? No, Ainsley was in... No, we were to Manuka. Oh, Manuka, Manuka right? was it? Yeah. 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 That's, that's quite weird, actually. That was my first ever AFL game. Was it really? Is that we played your first game? Oh, oh, that was a wicked oh. oval. I remember <laughs> so we played that. some synergy for you? Yeah, yeah it was. It was same <laughs> so type that, of so conditions. That, and that carnival that you played in 1974, who did you play against? So was it other... We played against... There was Victoria, South Australia... All Aboriginal teams? Yeah, all, ab all Aboriginal oh, sides. But... And you've you done that was at Manuka? Yeah, well, that's what the boys say. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Full circle, brother. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And there was a time. Um, uh, who was it? Tasmanian, Tasmania, and uh, Northern Territory. There's about there was about five or six six of the. Especially especially the Nunga Nunga tribe, you know, pretty strong. Pretty strong rep uh, representation of uh, football from the from our tribe from down the southwest. So, how would that side of the nineteen seventy four go these days? You reckon? Uh, we all get suspended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but, tough. Especially when you're playing against. I don't know whether you heard of Robbie Mews. Yeah, yeah. We, he he was in those sides, mate, and that, and that year. You know, there, there was always that little bit of a... He was in the Victorian side, wasn't he? Yeah, he's in the Victorian really side. Sid, Robbie Muir, was Sid Jackson part of the... And, and Sydney too. Sydney Jackson yeah. was part of the side. In, in Victoria? In Victoria, he played. Yeah, because he was well, Carlton then, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we invited him to play with us. He says, no, I'm not playing. And then he, he goes and lines up the game against us. He lines up against us. So. Beat him? Yeah. Yeah, we did beat him, but... He felt he felt that we how, how we were that day too. Don't worry about that. Describe to me what what that team was like, like the fellas together. Hard, mate. We were a pretty <laughs> hard side. There's some big boys in our in our side, like that young uh, John D. He's a big boy in his day, and he didn't go around anybody. <laughs> he didn't go around anybody. <laughs> That's John's uncle. And a fair bit of skills, fair bit of skills too. Kevin Kevin Hills, he 
think he jumped on Blake's shoulders, you know, just about every second ball if he had to. He a couple of brothers and Harley's old pop was a, was he was a coach. And so he, Harley's friend and coach that side. Yeah, he, he was a coach. He coached, he coached for a few few years. Yeah, no, at, at least at least four four years he he uh, coached.